Okay, just a quick video on this LG 42PG3000, a uh, 42-inch 720p plasma. Uh, this is a fairly early uh, LG plasma, it's a 2008 model, um, but it's uh, the one with no IPMs on the sustain boards. This is the first they made, I think, with no IPMs. Anyway, the fault with this one uh, is no glow at all on the screen, no pitch, and, and it has sound. Uh, so immediately check the power supply, VSVA are fine. Okay, and I can hear the sustain boards buzzing slightly. So, if you've got good hearing, you might be able to hear that, and that indicates the sustain board's working. So, my next stop is check the VY and VSC voltages. And on this, I found they were jumping all over the place. And that's why I've got no picture glow. So, I isolate the buffer board, as you can see, I've removed the buffer board. VY and VSC fire right up. So, I know it's a shorted buffer board. Okay, you know, not too bad. So, I've got the buffer board over here. I'm just doing something right now, I'll explain that in a minute. But uh, what I'm doing with it is, um, I've got my multimeter along it, and I'm just running my multimeter along it, checking the normal shorts, and you're putting one probe there, meter along here, just going, just checking for shorts, and then joining the other, no shorts at all, I can't find any, I'm like, okay, so what's that up with? Um, so what I find, is I can't find any shorts, but when I check the buffer board, there is a short there, so, where is the short? It doesn't appear on the output. So I'm a bit confused about this, but I'll try another trick. Just uh, my bench power supply here, just having about 200 milliamps in it at 20 volts between these terminals, because that's the uh, VSC voltage, normally 140 volts, so this board floats above the sustain output. And so I go along filling these chip temperatures, so that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, 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 and that one is really hot, it's actually burning my finger right now. And it's really hot because it's um, 200 milliamps times 20 volts, which is about 4 watts. So that's uh, a lot of heat in that little IC, so I know it's actually going to get quite hot. So that IC is the bad, is, is the problem. And eventually I go around my multimeter, I check it, and there's 300 ohms to this pin. But everything else seems open, so it's just like uh, one of the pins on here has uh, failed. One of the outputs has failed, shorted. And that's what's dragging the VY and VSC down, so I'm just going to place that chip or the buffer board, but I prefer to replace the chip to be honest. So we'll see how that goes. Cool.